Did you know that you can actually use radiation to date certain objects? And I'm not talking about carbon-14 here. I'm talking about actually seeing if an object you bought online or at, it, at an antique shop is radioactive because it used radioactive materials in its construction. I recently bought this tile off of eBay, and the seller described it as being from the 1930s, possibly a Malibu or California tile. And if it was made between that time period by any of those manufacturers, these uh, kind of red or orange bits on here would be radioactive because they would be um, colored using uranium. So what they did is they actually would use uranium in the glazes to get this type of red or orange color. And as you can see, this tile is not radioactive. But what is radioactive is this other tile just to kind of give you an idea of like the difference. So I can know pretty certainly that these, uh, that this tile was made uh, probably between the 1920s up until the mid 1940s. And I say until up until the mid 1940s, because right around 1943, 1945, the US government put a hold on using uh, uranium for, um, for the civilian market. And so tile manufacturers can no longer use uranium as a pigment. Now this wasn't because of safety concerns or something like that, it was actually because of the war effort. It was because they were taking all that uranium, all those uranium stockpiles that uh, all these tile and uh, dinnerware manufacturers were using as a glaze, and they were using it to separate out the uranium-235 inside of that naturally occurring uranium that they were using and using that for atomic bombs and for nuclear power. So ceramic manufacturers stopped using uranium for about 15 years after the initial ban. And then I think it was like around 1959 or around 1960, the US government lifted the ban on using uranium. But at that point, these manufacturers were getting the uranium from the US government. And so the uranium that they were getting at that time was depleted uranium. So uranium that the government had already extracted out the uranium-235 out of, which is the fissile bomb-making nuclear power um, uranium. Uh, natural uranium usually contains mostly uranium-238 and some other isotopes of uranium, but it usually contains about 0.7% uranium-235. And so I'm thinking that this tile, since it was probably made uh, before that initial ban, uh, would have uranium-235 and uranium-238 inside of this. And so it's kind of cool to see that you can actually use radiation to date certain objects. And when I go into an, in, in an antique shop, uh, people ask me, well, why do you carry around a Geiger counter? And I say, I tell them to date certain objects, which is partly true. I mean, I'm use, mainly using it just to find radioactive objects like, you know, tiles like this or, um, you know, other ceramics or uh, radium watches or dials or stuff like that. Because usually the first time you go into a, uh, like a big uh, antique shop with a Geiger counter, you'd be pretty surprised at uh, how much stuff is radioactive, if it does in fact have these type of ceramics. But it's always a good way to uh, separate out the fakes <laughs> from the real ones. And I'm sure someone with actually a trained eye could look at this tile and be like, well, of course this isn't a Malibu tile or a California tile. I mean, look at this design, you know, but I am not that trained enough to recognize the difference between those style of tiles and one that was made uh, from a more recent production run. And so anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, learning something new about dating uh, objects uh, using radiation and hopefully get to go out and actually try it yourself because it's actually kind of a lot of fun to to see what you can find. And, I, you know, I mean, it, you when I first started off doing this, I was like, whoa, this is kind of, you know, eye opening and almost a little bit scary because I really didn't know that much about uh, all this radiation and everything. But the more I learned, the more I realized that this is all around us. And it really should be something that's like uh, feared, but just understood. And so I feel like <laughs> my perception of radiation has changed a lot after uh, finding tiles and ceramics and, you know, other types of things that are radioactive and even stuff that's out like in the, 
out in the world that's like just on the street corners and stuff like that, like tile, like uh, fronts of buildings are sometimes radioactive because they are built using those exact same tiles during that time period. And so it's a, it's a fun like little thing to find and, and very useful to actually authenticate certain antiques. Hope you learned something new about uh, dating radioactive things and I'll see you next time. Oh, so thirsty after a lot of talking.